friends, Max and I are here to say hello to you. We are so glad to get to do special learning together. You know in our room this week, we've been learning about our new season fall, and we thought it would be a great time to do some special learning together with you, me, Max, and your family. Who wants to do that today? With me? Let's do it, okay? Hey, Max, could you help us make our schedule? Okay, Max, you be the schedule checker. The first thing we're gonna do today is circle time. And at circle time today, we are going to cook. Mmm, I wonder what we're gonna cook. And then we're gonna say, Goodbye. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do our body check. I'll do mine. You do your body check. And then we can find out how we're learning at circle time. Okay. Put your listening ears in. Mm -hmm. Put your looking eyes in. Mm -hmm. Put your brain in. Mm -hmm. We are ready to learn, learn, learn. So today at circle time, we want to talk more about our new season. We know that the season is fall, and in fall, we've been talking about how things are changing. We know that the trees are changing. The trees outside our window are changing. The leaves are changing colors. Probably the trees at your house, they're changing. And we've been looking outside at our school, and we've been seeing that leaves are changing colors. There's some brown leaves now, and there's some orange leaves and some red leaves. This week, we read this book in our room called The Four Seasons Fall. That's the title of the book, the name. The author is Maria Ruos, and the publishing company is Barron's, and we want to say thank you so much to them for letting us read our book together with you. Um, and remember in our book, it was about a girl and a boy, and they were finding out what was happening outside in the new season fall. And do you remember how they were, oh, what are they doing? Yeah, they're looking at some leaves. Oh, and look, this little girl has something in her hand. What is she holding? She's holding leaves, and they're with their mom, and they're like saying, look, mom, the leaves are falling. And then when they were at school, they went, can you tell where they are? Yeah, they went outside. We did that. We went outside, and we looked at the trees and the leaves. And it says here that it's time to go back to school. We're at school and we go to the forest with our school friends to look for chestnuts. And we talked about how that's like a little hard nut that grows on a tree and it falls to the ground. Where we live, we see a lot of acorns and they're finding leaves. And in in the room, the teacher shows them how to make things with the leaves and the acorns and the chestnuts that they find outside. Do you think we could do that? Do you think we could make something with the leaves and trees, sticks and acorns that we find outside? Let's do it. I think we could cook something today that would make us feel like, huh, fall is here. We're going to cook something special. We're gonna use this recipe. It's gonna tell us how to make Play-Doh. But this Play-Doh is going to smell very special, very special. Hey, we should read how to do it, but we're gonna need to work together. You're gonna have to tell me where do I put things? What do I need to do? Okay, so here's our Play-Doh recipe, and families, I'll just put it right there, and you can see that. It says Play-Doh recipe. It says we need one cup of flour. Oh, look, 
I have the flower right here. We have a very big, heavy bag of flour. Remember when we were cooking with this flour this week when we were making banana bread? Whew. Let's look inside. Can we see inside? Oh, it's white. The flour is white. Now, in our recipe, it says we need one cup. So I need a measuring cup to find out how much flour we need. We need one cup. So I have to go put it in the bag. Then I have to get some out. Okay, look, I have one cup. Okay, now, where should I put this flour? Should I put it in my hand? I think I need something. You think I need something? Oh, I need to get a bowl. I need to get a bowl. Okay, where do I put the flour? In the bowl? Okay, let's watch. Okay, maybe we can hear it going in the bowl. I hear it. I'm shaking it into the bowl. It's, the measuring cup is empty now. All of the flour is in the bowl. Okay, are we finished or do we need to do more? We need to do more, let's try it. It says the next thing we need is one half cup of salt. Here is our salt. I think I can hear something inside of it. I can hear it shaking. So for this salt, we used this when we were cooking our banana bread, and we know that it's white as well. The flour is white, and the salt is white. And now I am pouring it into our measuring cup. I have to fill it all the way to the top. Look, there's our salt. Where should we put the salt? In the bowl. Let's do it. Okay. Now, let's see what we need to do next on our recipe. Oh, here's the special part. We're going to make our Play-Doh smell like fall. And there's something that we've been using in our classroom that smells so good. It smells like fall is here. Time to get cozy. Cinnamon. We need to put cinnamon in our Play-Doh to make it smell so good. Oh, I, I have to smell it. It is my favorite thing to smell in the fall. <gasps> Whoa! Nothing's coming out. What do I need to do? You're right. I need to open it. I hope I can use my fingers or I might need something to help me. Oh, I'm getting a little. Um, let me keep going. I'm going to keep going. I think maybe I need something. Oh, I got it. I thought for a second I was going to need some help. I was going to need a tool. It's brown cinnamon. Mmm. Do you remember how we used the cinnamon in our banana bread to make it taste so good? And do you remember how we put it in our apple crisp to make our apple crisp taste so good? And how we sprinkle it on those apples that we made to make our room smell so good? Cinnamon just makes me say, hooray, fall is here. So we're gonna put some cinnamon in our Play-Doh recipe. And you know what, families? This Play-Doh recipe is really easy to do. You can add in extra things and it should turn out right. <laughs> Let's see, I think I'm going to use a lot of cinnamon. How about, do you think we should use this much? How about a little bit more? Okay. 
So where should our cinnamon go in the bowl? I wish you could smell the cinnamon. Oh, there you go. Oh, did you see? There was cinnamon dust going in the air. What do I need to do with our cinnamon? Yeah, I need to close it. I don't want to have an accident and spill it. Okay, so we have our cinnamon and our salt and our flour and it's all in the bowl. Hmm, should we just leave it like this or do we need to do something with it? We need to stir it. Oh, watch. And I'm gonna do little circles so I can try to keep everything in the bowl. Look, I can see it changing. It's just not a piece of brown cinnamon and a piece of white, oh, white salt and white flour. It's combining. It's mixing all together. I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. It smells like fall. I keep saying that because it just smells so good. Okay, now let's see what we need to do next. Now families, if you want to, you can put food coloring in and make it change colors too. We're going to do that next time and then you can also put some oil in it and that just makes it a little extra softer um and then it says that we need to put in a half a cup of water okay let's see i need that cup for measuring this is this was the one cup and it's bigger and this is half a cup okay and now i need water pouring into the cup. Listen. It's pouring. Where should I put the water? In the bowl? Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of water at, at, at one time. Oh, okay. That's a little bit. I'm going to save some. What should I do? Stir it up. Do you think the Play-Doh is going to stay the same or is it going to change? Look, it's starting to change. It's starting to stick together. Oh, I think I need more water. Oh, here I go. I'm gonna see if I can stand up a little bit more. Okay, you ready? Can you see? Oh, look, it's starting to stick together. Oh, look. Hmm. You think it's finished or should I do a little bit more water? Okay, a little bit more water. Okay, here we go. Oh. You know what? I think a little bit more water, so I'm just gonna get a little bit more pitcher. From, a little more water from the pitcher. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit more water in the bowl. Oh, okay, let me stir it together. Look, I think it's almost ready. Okay. Okay, now I am going to put, I'm gonna use my hands and I'm going to push all of the Play-Doh together. Look, it's starting to make a ball of Play-Doh. No way. Check it out. Look. I just made Play-Doh and you helped me. We did it together. Oh, look. It's our Play-Doh. Now, families, there are so many different things that you can do with Play-Doh. You can just have fun with it. You and your child can push it and roll it, make balls with it. You, you could maybe use some things from the kitchen like spoons or cups um, to use as a Play-Doh tool. There's different words that you can use when you're talking about the Play-Doh, how you are um, squeezing it, you're rolling it. 
Um, there's something else you could try to do too if you want. You could go outside and collect things that you find in the fall. Like look, you can poke sticks in it. Or, oh wow, that looks like a big fall tree. Wow, so really there are so many different things that you can do with Play-Doh. Just have fun together with it. Just keep talking while you're working together with the Play-Doh and have fun together. So friends, I hope you had a great time making Play-Doh together with me. And I hope you also have a great time making Play-Doh with your family. Families, if you have any questions or concerns or you need the recipe, feel free to, I'll hold it up one more time. And if you also want me to uh, email it to you, just feel free to email me and I will send you the recipe for our Play-Doh. As you can see, it's really easy to do and it just uses things that you have around the house. So I hope you had a great time saying hooray, fall is here by making Play-Doh together. Max, come on over and check the schedule. Hey everybody. Um, Max, let's take a look. At circle time today, we made Play-Doh that smells like fall and we were cooking. Now it's time to say goodbye friends. Goodbye. Have a great day making Play-Doh with your family. Hey, if you make Play-Doh with your family, send me pictures, videos, and we can share it with all of your friends here at school. We're going to say goodbye friends. Have a great day. Happy fall.